Hello everybody. All right, I've got a new video coming to you about how in the world to use CAS if you want to have your items graded. And I've got a few scenarios that we're going to run through and I'm going to do the kind of the, the gist and the background of how um, CAS works, how to set up an account, how to quickly add uh, loose graded items into your cart, pay for it, all that stuff. And then I got a couple of weird options in case you run into some of these scenarios that got me hung up when I first got into CAS and tried sending items off to be graded. So um, I tried to do a screen recording uh, with my Logitech uh, software and it did not work. Uh, you, could, you couldn't see my mouse moving around, it kept flickering. And so this is the second time I'm doing this video. So uh, I had some practice. And so hopefully this turns out to be uh, a good one. So um, the, this is the main web web page and the home page for CAS, and there's a lot of stuff going on on it. And um, the the first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to my account, and let me uh, let me sign out. And I'm signed out. Now I can go in here. And there's a spot here on the drop down that says create an account, and so we're going to go in and we're going to create an account. And this is where you would put in your first name, last name. Uh, phone number, address, all of that information is going to go there, and then you would create the account. And from that point on, you're pretty much good to go. Um, this up in the upper left here is will always take you back to the home page. So this will take it right back to where we started. And you're looking at this, and there's action figures everywhere, and there's all kinds of spots. Where do we go? Well, the first thing you want to do is you have to search for the figure that you want to have graded. So um, I'm going to do a Rebel Soldier. So we go here in this first box under the collectible line, and we're gonna put in Star Wars. And the type that we're gonna be doing in my scenario here is loose, so it's a loose graded item. But there's other options, so there could be like that you have a baggy figure, a bootleg, a boxed uh, vehicle, a carded figure, something custom. So like if you have like two figures you want to have graded in one, or some some weird thing like that, that would be under a custom. Um, let's see here, what else is there? The mailer. So if you got a uh, an Emperor mailer or an Admiral Akbar mailer, a Neonum mailer, all those can go under that one. A multi pack would go here. So there's all, all the different options of what you're trying to do. But for our purposes here today, we're going to do loose. So we'll type in rebel. There he is. So it pre-fills the rebel soldier for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit search collectibles. You could put in the year it came out, the manufacturer if it's like Little Letty or Pac or a PPP figure. You can put those things in and that'll help narrow down the search. But we can already see that here he is. This is the one we want. It's a Kenner Star Wars loose action figure. Rebel Soldier Hoth Battle Gear. Let's add that to our cart. And in here, we've got a bunch of options uh, that we can fill out. So the first thing is you can either grade it or have it archived. And an archive, you probably only do if you know the figure's in horrible condition, but you want to authenticate it because it's something rare. And you don't want to have that horrible grade show up on it, but you do want to have, a, have it be validated. And so I think that's what you would use the archiving for, but it only saves you the $3.50, so might as well just grade it. Um, and then you have two types of casing. And for me, all of my figures are away from the sun. They're away from windows. They're in a controlled environment. I'm just going to do the CAS standard casing. But you could go to their higher museum quality casing um, for an extra $17.50 added on. The expedited turnaround is something that is, is an option. If you have some sort of an emergency, to get something graded. Better. I think that's the only reason you would pay the $200 or $400 for the seven-day turnaround or the 48-hour express. I, I mean, if you're desperate to get something maybe for a show or something going on, maybe that's why you'd use that. Otherwise, I don't know why you'd use that. Um, so then you have to get hit this insurance disclaimer. You've got to have uh, return insurance, and they do it in increments of 100 It's a dollar for every $100. So you can't put in 150, you have to put in 200 if you wanna have it insured and they charge you $2 for the return um, insurance sh for the shipping costs. And so for this guy, we're gonna do 100. And um, then you have the option of, so I'm gonna put everything in a clam uh, shell case uh, for each item. And it's if you'd like to have that stuff returned, they'll charge you $5 per item. And the clam case isn't worth $5. So you just let them keep it. And um, if you have any special notes, like a special variant, like the one in this picture here, 
it looks like it could be the painted legs variant. And so I would put the notes there just to make sure that it gets on the label. Um, but that's where you'd put some special notes about something. And then we would go ahead and just add this into the cart. And then up here, you get the green confirmation. It's been added. We got it in there. Um, and then so something I'm going to do uh, for, I have a Paplu I'm going to be sending with a coin. And I got a bunch of items with coins. So I'm going to now um, click the back button. I click back. And it comes back to this page where we had all the search for the rebel soldiers. And now all you have to do is just go in here to the name. You can highlight it. And I'm going to put in Paplu. Select it, search collectibles. That way I don't have to type in Star Wars and loose again. It has those things pre-filled. And then here's all those Paplus. And look at this, there's the guy I need. The one with the graded coin to be added. And so I'm gonna add that to my cart. And there's nothing different. You fill it out the exact same way and then you click that and add it to your cart. When you wanna to go to your cart to pay for all your items, it's gonna then print an invoice for you. And that's what you need to go with those figures in the box so that they can mark off all the items that you have in the box, make sure they're there, get them inventoried into uh, underneath your account. And so what we would do is we're gonna click on, I'm gonna scroll this over just slightly. There's my cart. And you click my cart, you just highlight over it. And then you gotta come down to this view and um, edit cart. And then this disclaimer comes up. I, have, I must be logged in. I'm not logged in. So I'll quickly log in. Okay, I'm logged in now. And so I'm going to go to my cart. And here, here when you log in, you can see these are all these orders that I've completed. And I've got five pages of orders that I have sent into CAS. So I've got tons of items there. Um, and each under each one of these orders, there's multiples amounts of items uh, underneath there. So um, that's uh, this is where you can take a look at all your orders, see where they're at. And then one thing while we're already in here, we can go into the CAS submission bar right here. And this will show you all the items that you've sent in and where they're currently at. If there's a picture of one, let's scroll down. So here's all these items I've sent in. These ones have not been graded yet, but here's one. This one is arriving today, actually. This is the one that I had a video of where it was, they put an additional sticker of a Luke teles double telescoping lightsaber uh, inside of this Chewbacca. And even though when I clicked on it, when it first got graded, it showed the Chewbacca label. They, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe they took a picture of the label before they actually put it inside of the casing but they ended up printing two double telescoping Luke Skywalkers and put one in the Chewbacca and one with my Luke. So Luke was correct, Chewbacca was wrong. I have a short um, that was done maybe four weeks ago that talks about what happens when something like that goes wrong and you get it and there was no way to um, catch it before they mailed it to you. But I'm gonna have that item back here today and I'll do another short on receiving it and showing that it's in perfect condition. But this right here uh, would show you that it's, um, that this is graded at this point and you would click view and here's the item and then it goes down and here's that sticker I was talking about. So this sticker was the correct sticker that I could see when I, when I first um, saw that it was graded, but somehow the wrong sticker was put inside of the Chewbacca when it was mailed out to me. So that was a bummer, but they quick, I mean, they jumped on this. I think, um, that mistake happened the beginning of December, and within two weeks, they had it um, back, inventoried, and then they graded it on 1220, and um, today's what, the 4th of January, and it, it arrives today. I've got confirmation that it's, it's on the UPS truck coming to me. So um, that's pr a pretty quick turnaround um, for that. But let me go back, and so we're gonna go to my cart. Let's view and edit the cart. Now that I'm logged in. And it's coming here. There it is. And so here's the item. It's gonna list what the items are. And there's gonna be a whole bunch of them if you add multiples. And it shows the pricing, 
And then there's the dollar insurance for the $100 I said this figure is going to be worth once it's created. And then um, you would proceed and check out and you put in your credit card information or PayPal. They have multiple options to pay. Then you print that invoice. So right after you check out and pay, it'll have a button you click, prints out an invoice, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then um, uh, you box it up with the invoice and send it out. Okay, so I'm going to delete this because I already did this. So I'm going to delete it. And now I've got nothing in my cart. Perfect. Now, what happens if you have an item that you search for that isn't something that you, that's been graded already and is in their inventory? So in those scenarios, <clears throat> let's search for something. We'll put in Star Wars. And we're going to put loose. And I'm going to look for a General Bedin. And the manufacturer is going to be Little Eddie. And I'm going to hit Search Collectibles. And what I have, which I'll have pictures of, that I'll put up right over here somewhere, is I have a Overstock Little Letty General Medine head that's unpainted except for the eyes. There's two blue eyes. That's all the paint that, that was um, applied, and then everything else is unpainted. And um, so I have all, all that, that head I want to have graded. And there are other options in here. I'll show you another head here real quick that's been graded. But I'm going to send that in to be graded. And so here's the only option that they have is a Little Letty for General Maydine is the regular Little Letty version, which is, which, you know, is the figure and the weapon graded. So they don't have a Little Letty head that's graded. Let me show you one that is. So let's do um, Bib Fortuna Search Collectibles. And look at this. Look at this guy right here. So this guy right here, it's just the graded head. I think this is Chris's from Five Idiot Socking Toys. I think this is his. Um, the one that he had sent in and got done. So and I and I have a Bib Fortuna head that is being graded right now, and it's gonna come back as a little Eddie. So I think that's pretty cool looking. And it's just this overstock head that was probably taken from the factory workers when they found out the little Eddie factory was going under. They just started putting handfuls of figures and pieces into their pockets when they left that ended up usually in the flea markets as, um, and then they, then they put them together there and sold them in flea markets and they all had the wrong parts on them. They're called, they're called, uh, little Letty Frankies or Frankensteins are the figures. And I've got a few of those here in my collection too, that I've, that I've purchased from Mexico, um, which are pretty cool. So they all have little Letty parts and, um, but they have the wrong arms and the torso and the head. And they're just like a, a mix, mix and match of figures. But uh, this is pretty cool. So, uh, let's go back to what we were talking about. I'm sidetracking a lot. But you'd go down here where it says new. Have a collectible we haven't graded yet. So you click there. And here's where you're going to type in all the information. So all the stuff that was already pre-filled kind of on the items that they already have, you're just going to fill out. So we've got manufacturer. So the manufacturer is Kenner. Nope. Well, okay. So for this one, it's Little Lenny, right? Little... Letty. The, coll the collectible line is Star Wars. The year, um, so, so General Maydean is 1983. Uh, condition, this is going to be a loose figure. Type of service, we're going to have this graded. The case type is just normal. The expedited turnaround, we're not doing. We're not paying two or $400. Um, the return packaging, nope, discard of it. And the return insurance amount for that, I'm going to put $200 for General Maydean after it's graded. And then here's where I'd, I'm going to type in some notes. So I'm going to put in uh, Mr. General Maydean's head, Little Letty, uh, Overstock, so that they it just matches up. Um, because that information is what is actually going to be. So we didn't put General Maydean anywhere else in this information. So we need to have it all down here in the special notes. We would then add that to our cart. Um, so down here we would add to cart and then it will not charge you anything because in order for them to charge you, they have to, they have to realize what it is, add it into their own inventory. 
then turn around and be able to bill you for it once they realize what the cost will be for it. Um, because at that point, they don't know if it's a carded figure, if it's you know custom, whatever else. And so they've got to get it in their inventory. Then they charge you for it later on. But it takes about, um, you know, it can take four to six months before they're going to even send you a invoice or a bill for it. And then, they're, then the grading, then it gets just in line for grading. So those ones take a while. And so my recommendation is if you've got any of these items that you're going to custom add like this, you're going to send them separately. Make a separate invoice for them so that they are by themselves. Because if you send them with a bunch of items that are the normal common ones that you can just pull up, they won't send you those common the common ones that they graded quickly. They wait until everything in that invoice is has all been graded then they will finally ship all the items to you. So you might wait six to eight months on items you could have had back in three to four months. So do those invoices separately. Um, the common stuff that you can pull up is in one invoice and then one box goes out to them. And then the any custom ads, you put those in one invoice, put them in their own box and you ship them separately. And you're gonna get your items a lot quicker and be a lot happier. All right, so that's that one. So there's one other uh, option that I have here. I've got a... Power of the Force from 1997 Hasbro card with a freeze frame, uh, the freeze frame clip thing that's on it for Orlando Calrissian with Billy D. Williams' signature on it. The signature has not been verified, um, but it, it took place at a um, convention, I think in Tokyo, Japan. I got the item from uh, Brandon Alamo of 5 Asaki Stocking Toys. And so I'd like to send that off to be graded and have the signature authenticated with the grading. So you got it's a two-step process. So on this one, I'm just going to go back to the home page here, and I know that this so this item is going to be a custom ad. So um, the for whatever reason I've searched for this this figure, they don't nobody's ever wanted to grade a Power of the Force Lando. So um, I've got to. Um, custom add it. So we'll go down here. Uh, we would add in all the Lando information just like we did on when I was showing you the General Maydean head. Add in all the information for what it is. Put in its a Billy D. Williams signature on a Has Hasbro Power of the Force card with the freeze, uh, the freeze uh, frame clip thing on it. Put all the information you can. Add it into your cart. Then you go back to the home page and down here you'll see there's this JSA authentication. And so we're going to click on that, and it's thirty-five dollars. And they don't—I don't think they do it in house. So the item will be shipped to them on this custom ad. They're going to have to um, put it into their inventory, figure out what it is, bill you for it. You send, you'll, you know, complete the invoice, pay, pay the money. Then they're going to send it off to JSA to authenticate the signature. Goes back to CAS. Then they compile it all together, grade it, and then you get it. So this one, I, I, I don't know. This is going to take a year. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to be. So anyways, here it says, so they don't have any information. So they're going to say, please tell us which items require GSA authentication. So I'm going to put in the Billy D. Williams signature on the Hasbro Power of the Force, uh, you know, a Lando Calrissian card. And I'm going to put all the information just like I did on that custom ad. You add it to your cart, and you can. And they're going to charge you the $35. So they'll charge you the $35 at this point, and then you'll get billed for the rest of it later. And then you go ahead and print the invoice and slap it in the box with the figure. I put it in the star case. I think I got it right here with me. But, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. I've got the invoice in the star case, but there it is. The signature's in the, in the upper section right up here. And then, you know, there's the card and all that stuff. So anyways, that's going to be protected in that star case. And um, that is the gist of grading. And so um, as I think I, as I get different items or more obscure items, I'll probably do more videos like this just to show the ins and outs of, of how to do that. But I hope this gave a pretty good um, overview. It's pretty quick and simple, actually. The homepage is a little um, busy with all this stuff, like where do I go? There's all these menus and drop downs. But once you know that all you're needing to do is search for the item that you want to submit, add it into your cart, and you're done, it's pretty simple. So anyways, I'm gonna have a video now showing it all, all the items being boxed up and I'll have a picture of all the items that I'm sending in.
do rebel. Oh, cool. It just deleted everything. Cool. That's, that's, what is happening? Dude, what is happening? Is something being clicked? Dude, what? I, is somebody punking me? Dude, what? What is happening? I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, so we're going to type in Rebel Soldier. I've got a Rebel Soldier that's up. Uh... Dude? What is it doing? <laughs> 